Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on how to make your own bucket hat and I'm super excited about this tutorial. If you guys have been following me here on my YouTube channel for a while or you're new, you'll notice that in most of my videos I never do an intro, I never really show my face, I kind of just get straight to work and then I'm never shown in the video, right? And so I'm super excited about this tutorial in particular because I created a pattern for you guys. It's a three piece pattern for this bucket hat so you you can just download it on my website and you'll be able to print this out or you can trace it from your computer if you don't have a printer or don't want to print and so um, once you go to my website which is fashionlife.com or you can click the link in my um, description uh, you go to the top toolbar there and then you'll scroll down to where it says bucket hat pattern and once you click there it's going to send you to um, the actual page where you can download and then you have two different options as far as downloading in case one doesn't work so I gave you guys different options initially when I was thinking about my next tutorial for the longest I've been wanting to make a bucket hat so I was really inspired by this tie-dye bucket hat that a friend gave me years ago and so I always said I wanted to make my own bucket hat and I finally got around to it so this is the first bucket hat that I made. Um, I did see some things that I probably would change if I did it again. But other than that, I like the way it turned out. So this doesn't have like any type of interfacing or anything like that. I think next time I do it with this fabric in particular, I'll probably add in some interfacing around the brim of the hat. Just to give it a little bit more stiffness because it is very... I wouldn't say flabby, but I would want it to be just a little bit thicker. Um, other than that, it came out good. And then I did a top stitch all the way around the brim area. Okay, so I did two other hats. So this one is one of my favorites. It's this money type of print. And I got this at Joann's, by the way, this fabric. And this is reversible. And so when you reverse it, I decided to add a photo of Nipsey Hussle here. And I used heat transfer paper to do that. And then my next hat is this jean hat here. This is also reversible. Got this fabric at Joann's. And if you have like a bunch of jean material or fabrics or scraps that you want to recycle, you can do something similar like this with all the patches all stitched together and then this is reversible as well it's just a basic black hat on the other side so I'm super excited about the hats that I made and I'm super excited about you guys learning how to make your own bucket hat so other than that let's get started so you see right now I have everything pretty much laid out as far as my fabric I have printed out my pattern and then it tells you all the instructions you need as far as the seam allowance and where to scale the print for your pattern so make sure it's at 100% and then I'm just cutting everything out like I mentioned the seam allowance is already added and then you're going to sew with a quarter of an inch seam allowance once you have your three patterns cut out um, I'm actually looking at the hat that I mentioned earlier and I'm trying to see how I want my hat to be. Um, I'm definitely probably going to top stitch one of my hats at the brim of the hat. So I have all my fabric stacked on top of each other because I'm actually making two hats at the same time. And then I also had this really cool tie-dye fabric that I got to join so I'm going to use that for another time. So the first piece that I'm going to cut out is the circular part of the hat. And so I'm just going to pin it down and then cut it out. So I have some really, really great strong scissors to cut through all these layers of fabric. But I have came across a really nice electric scissors that you guys can perhaps invest in if you want to sew through over 50 plus layers of fabric. I'll leave that link down below. Um, here this is the headband part of the hat. Make sure that you cut this on the fold of the fabric. So once you cut out your pieces, it all should look like this. You got two pieces that are supposed to be cut on the fold and then you have that circular piece. So now I'm just pulling out the pieces for the hat I'm going to do first and I'm doing the jean hat and then the inside of the lining of the jean hat is going to be with the black fabric. 
So now I am placing right sides together for the brim of the hat. And what you want to do is take your pins and then just pin it along the edge. And you want to do that for the other side as well. And next you want to do that for the lining part or the inside part of your hat. Just doing the same thing, lining right sides together, pinning everything on the edge there. And I'm going to do that for the brim. And then once you lay it out, it all should look like this. So next I'm going to take it to the sewing machine. Make sure that you sew the size of each piece. And then we're going to start pinning everything together. So remember I mentioned before that we are sewing with a quarter of an inch seam allowance and also make sure you back stitch each piece. So once you sewed all the pieces it should look like this. Now we're going to start placing right sides together. So I have the head bend part of the hat and then I'm going to take the circular top part and then I'm going to pin right sides together and I've done this with all different types of fabric and every time I do it it fits perfectly you guys I'm really excited about this pattern so um, yes make sure you um, pin it all the way around and then what I like to do is uh, I make sure that everything is pinned I like to pin everything all at the same time because I feel like it's faster that way once you pin everything and sew it it's already done right so I'm going to pin the second portion this is going to be the brim of the hat so you want to take that brim of the hat and pin it to the headband part of the hat and when you pin this piece make sure that the seams are lined up those two side seams make sure that they are lined up so this is the outer layer of the hat and I'm going to do the same for the reversible side. If you don't want to have a reversible hat, you can just line the brim. Um, additional information will be on my website. So definitely make sure you read everything and check it out and you can even print out some of those instructions. Um, as mentioned before, make sure all the seams are lined up before you start sewing on the sewing machine. I also suggest if you're not used to sewing in a circular motion, definitely print out an additional page of the circular part of the hat, cut it out, and just practice on the paper. It helps so much when you practice on the paper sewing in a circular motion. So that's what I'm doing in the top right hand of this video. You can see me practicing on the paper and that's how it looked like on the um, pattern piece and so that helps when you are top stitching the brim of the hat too um, just doing it in a circular motion so this is the um, out, outer layer of my hat and then this is the inner layer or the reversible side so next we're going to place right sides together you're going to flip that top piece inside out like so and then what you're going to do is make sure that the seams are matching up that's the most important part that you have those seams matching up and once you do that you're just going to pin it down so you're going to continue doing this all the way around and I also want to note that when you sew this all the way around you want to make sure that you leave about an inch and a half opening because that is going to be the opening space where you flip your hat inside out. So remember I said leave that opening there. So now I'm going to flip my hat inside out. So now I'm going to take that opening and usually I like to press it down with my iron and then I'm going to take my pin and hold it into place and then what I'm going to do is take my needle and thread and slip stitch that opening. So I'm going to slip stitch that to close it and secure it and then what I usually like to do is take my garment back to my ironing board and then press it down. So when you are all done sewing and hand stitching, everything should look like this. I have two hats that don't have the top stitching on the brim. And then I have this pink hat that is top stitch all the way around the brim. As mentioned before, print out that additional page so that you can be 
comfortable in top stitching the brim of your hat so your your stitches won't be all crazy you know practice made perfect so yeah this is like the original hat that I had the idea from um, you can see here that they top stitch the brim but they also top stitch the circular part of the hat and my friend had got that made at through a, like a manufacturer so it's not something that they sold but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to share like and subscribe make sure to tag my business page which is fashion life official on Instagram so that we can repost your pictures and things like that and if you have any ideas for the next video make sure to comment down below I'll see you next week for a new video bye